Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a 2021 Kia Niro Touring Hybrid in the color gray. Let's take a look. So underneath the hood here you have your gas component of this hybrid engine. It is 1.6 liter and 4 cylinders. Automatic transmission gets up to 139 horsepower and 195 pound foot of torque. Up front you've got LED headlights, customary daytime running lights, and fog lights down below. Across the front bumper, you have these little round nodules. These are your front parking sensors. As you get along to the side here, you have 17 inch steel wheels. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals and blind spot monitoring. Both of the front handles have this little black dot. We'll discuss that more when we get to the driver's side. Rear windows all come with factory tinting and up top you have silver roof rails. Looking at the back here, across the rear bumper, you have more backup parking sensors. On the right, you have the Eco Hybrid badge. On the left, you have the Euro Turing badge. And then in the middle is your Kia logo. Then to open up your rear space here, simply reach into this little cubby space, press the button, and lift upwards. So inside here, we do have an interior cargo cover stretched across the back. This does extend outward and lock into place in order to keep private anything that you want to keep in the back space and not have people pry in through the side windows or the rear hatch. Your second row seating does have a 60-40 split. On the left hand side seats are adjustable using the handle releases on the outside corners to lay them down in order to extend your cargo space forward. That way you have more room or of course you can leave them up for your rear passengers. And then plenty of space in the back here. You have your speaker on the left. On the right, you have a little bit of a cubby down below. And then to find your spare tire kits, simply look down, reach in and lift up the false floor here. You'll find the styrofoam underneath of the styrofoam here is where you'll find everything for your spare tire kit. And then to close up your rear space here, simply reach up to the handle on the right hand side and you can pull it down back into its starting position. Next, let's take a look at the inside. Inside here, your interior upholstery is black leatherette. There is some light gray stitching for a bit of contrast. Rear passengers have access to the folding down armrest slash cup holder. Easily folds away to increase your seating space. On the back of the front passenger and front driver's seats, there is the mesh pouch storage back of your console you've got your air vents and then a charger down below and we currently have the carpet mats throughout the unit in the door you've got a speaker some black gloss and metallic highlights you also have the heated seat controls it has two options low and high then we are back at the handle again with that little black dot this indicates keyless entry so if you have your key fob on your person you can press this little button to lock and unlock Inside the driver's door compartment, power windows front and back, you have your power lock system, window lock, and your side mirror controls. And then right underneath the handle is your memory seat settings, which of course means electronic seat adjustment for the driver. Back front, up, down, and your lumbar support. You have your hood release latch on the bottom left hand side of your dash just down in the corner. Then you have controls for your gas release and then battery reset dash brightness, your rear parking sensors, as well as your lane keeping assist and traction control. Taking a look at the steering wheel, black leather with white stitching once again. Left hand side, you have controls for your radio, as well as your volume, your mode, and your hands-free communication. On the right hand side, this is for your display up top. And then everything else is adaptive cruise control. In the middle here is your infotainment display screen. This is where you access much of the information about your daily driving experience. We have built-in navigation with this unit. You can also access everything through the buttons right down below. And you have it fully touch screen. You can go back to home using the little house icon. You have your display for your Eco Hybrid, including a display for the chart showing what your Eco level is at as well. All menu gives you the majority of your personal customization, including current location, radio, music, phone, etc. And you can scroll through this to see what else is available, including a climate display. 
And then last but not least is your My Menu, where you're able to access any individual apps you have personally customized to your unit. Underneath this is your controls for this main touchscreen display. We also have your volume on the left, tune scroll on the right, and for all of your audio listening, there is AM, FM, as well as satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity, and then optional USB and aux adapters down below. In the middle is your four ways. You have your push start ignition and then your climate control center all throughout the middle. There is dual climate so that you and your front passenger could have their own unique temperature settings. You'll see the display change up top there in that little gray section. And then you can sync it up if you choose to to have both sides function in unison. Then you have your defroster front and rear windshield and then your driver only controls. Underneath this, you have this little storage space down below that is actually a wireless charging pad. You can tell there's a little symbol. It's a little hard to see in the darkness, but it matches the symbol right there. So this is compatible with all wireless charging devices. Nice thing about putting your phone there, not only does it keep and grow its charge, but you're still able to see any notifications coming in and out. And because it has a rubberized lining and a little bumper here, your phone's not going to go flying as soon as you go to drive off. On top of that is all of your charger options, including, as we said, your aux and USB. Then you've got your gear shift option, including your parking brake sensors. Behind that is where you have controls for your heated steering wheel. And then both driver and passenger have three variant levels for both heated and cooled front seats. You've got cup holder storage and your console with additional charging. Then up overhead, we have your sunglasses compartment and your overhead lighting, as well as controls for your moonroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this 2021 Kia Nero Touring Hybrid in the color gray. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.